Let's see if he remembers playing. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm playing a game. Nope. Necropede? Attack with the Necropede? I'm thinking so. I guess let's see what we draw. Can we attack with the Necropede, see whether he blocks with the Black Cleave, and activate the Trigon if he doesn't? Yeah. Yeah, definitely with that Copper Mare, too. Mm hmm. We'll be able to do both. Mm hmm. Okay, so attack with the Necropede. Hold back on the Fume Spitter? Yeah, hold, definitely hold back on the Fume Spitter. For the skin render. Is she okay? <laughs> Ooh, so so do I know now he's not blocking? Yep. And safe to try gun. That's gonna hurt. Wow, I'm kinda surprised all that went through. <laughs> yeah, me too. So we can block with the fume spitter and then sacrifice it after the block is declared? Yep. Okay, so I block like that, I press OK. Yep. And then I sack? Yeah, but what, yeah, what do we want to hit here? Well, I'd say the black cleave. Won't that take it out? No, because you you won't get the damage from the fume spitter. You'll just get the sac effect. Oh. It's just stopping him from getting mm -hmm. three points. I think, looking at his board, yeah, hitting, hitting the black cleave seems right. Because he's going to start proliferating. Uh, he doesn't have enough mana to do that yet. So you want me to hit the black cleave? I think so. Okay. So it is. Hmm. Awesome. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. Um, guess do the same thing we did last turn, attack with the Necropede, and hopefully, surely he won't let us through. But that would kill his rest tick if he blocks with either one of those. And, and we're not too worried about losing the Necropede if, uh... True. He's better than Vector Asp, yeah. Nice situation to be in. And the corpse cur actually won't search up the vector as Oh, it won't, because it's not in fact, huh? Oh, yeah. wow. Wow, he's in a pickle. Yeah, he has to block here, no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, time is a real factor in this uh, Scars of Mirrodin. It is, but it shouldn't be as much so as he's making it be. Oh, clearly. <coughs> so how's your mom? Oh, you know, she's well. It's good. Are they... How's your father? <laughs> he's, he is hanging in there. 
getting older every day, but enjoying life nonetheless. <laughs> wow. Are you still watching the coverage? Uh, no, I'm, I'm watching a uh, dike. <laughs> So when I activate my other screen, do you see it? I do not. Oh, that's a drag. Wow. Well, that was a fast one. should I do here? Obvi I don't see a point in attacking. No, yeah, definitely don't attack. We can't you play down the corpse drop. curse. Should we drop the Talgelod? Yeah. That shuts down his skin render. That's fine if he wants to attack. We just straight up block it. Get the skin render off the table and then Rust Tick is locked down. And then we just hope to draw another man and get some contagion engine going. And then proliferate and proliferate again. Now if he attacks with skin render, why not just let him through? Because that would be six, that would be four, down to four. Then we'll have Telgelod and Necropede well, on our side. The Necrogen sensor is getting a little scary though. With the contagion class, he can keep refilling mm. the encounters. If he attacks for three, puts us to six, effectively four with the one counter he has on there. We can assume he's going to refill it, so that's two more. So that's seven damage. Before we can get our four in. Well, he's half his time is gone. <laughs> I can't find the uh, coverage. Must be buried somewhere here. see your screen. What a beautiful landscape. Uh -huh. Cute. There we go. He still hasn't moved. Yeah, I don't think it likes when I switch the screen activity. Um, so Paolo PV is playing Montagnon. Montagnon is up 2-0. Um, it's in the semifinals? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, that looks like the final. Yeah, the semifinals, yeah. Um... So we're just going to move on, huh? Here. Yep. You're scared of the Necrogen. Grasp. Well, I guess we have to let that happen. 
Not much choice there. I see me want to block. Uh, I think this time we have to let it through because if we can get one more mana, we can get Contagion Engine out on the board to ruin his day. So you want to let him through? Yeah. Okay. We we need that mana off the mirror. Oh At least yeah. One more turn. Oh, I see. Uh oh. Well, the only thing he can plurfate is poison. And the counter on his necrogen sensor. Boom. Shit. Four. Alright. This is tight. Well, Corpse Cur. It has to be Corpse Cur, because we need another body out on there, because we have to block next turn. Uh, we don't even... There's nothing in the graveyard. The Telchalad. Oh, yeah. Um, so we're not going to block with this <coughs> mirror. No point in that. But then the Telgelot will be in our hand. I was thinking it would be out yeah. on the battlefield. And yeah, we're not in a good spot here. No. Pray not. Surprised he did that before proliferating, because that thing's dead now. He must have a way to do two damage to us. Ah, there you go. Mm, nice. Well, I wasn't ex expecting that at all. Any modifications we want to make here? Um, not that I can really think of. I mean, we just kind of got mana screwed. We've sat on two land for a long time. And our curve is pretty, uh, heavy on the low, low end. Maybe we throw in that mere battle sphere to deal with all those frickin' skin renders. <laughs> <laughs> so we keep it as is? 